I am finally back in Hamburg. I came three hours ago in Hamburg because yesterday I was at the German final, final das Deutsche Finale. And it was a whole experience being in the studio, seeing everything, seeing my favorites, being very near there because the whole studio was made like being very near. And I must say, it was very, very angenehm. What to say? It was like also the after party. The after party was my highlight also because it was made from ESC Compact. That's a German big channel that always does all of the details about Eurovision, and I follow them because they're great and. They, they interact with people a lot, they are like amazing, they made the Adapter Party, which was like hardcore Eurovision fans there, amazing music, amazing music played, but let's talk about Isaac, or Isaac, with Always on the Run, he won, he's the one to represent, I have to already say immediately, my favorites were Bodin and Rick, and both of them finished third and fourth, and... My honest opinion is that for me, Rick was the most interesting song and representer that I would like to see how it would do on Marmo. And we'll not see that because he finished third. And that's a shame a bit, but not shady to Isaac. It is nur, na, nur meine Meinung. Und ich denke, dass Rick muss da eigentlich der Einzige sein, der nach Marmo fährt. Und in Malmö singt für Deutschland mit sein Lied and I do believe that Rick would have been he was the favorite to win but no matter if he was the favorite to win he was his staging was the best like when you compare Isaac's staging and Rick's staging Rick was the whole idea was there the whole everything was there but Isaac, when he finished singing third, I remember being in the studio and I remember t telling my friend next to me, like, this sounds amazing. This sounds so good. Like, his vocals are crazy. But the staging is not good. And I will start so I can, as long as I say something about the song, I can already start the video of his performance. So I can also say, because... I don't remember much. I also drank some beers. Ba -da -ba. It's a good song. It's not a bad song. But it's not competitive enough for me for Eurovision. But the people really liked it. But the, in the studio, the biggest applause that someone took was Rick. Rick took huge applause. Everybody stood up. And Conchita. Conchita stood up and she was like clapping. And that moment, I truly believe that he would win. But we have Isaac, and Isaac took huge applause as well. These moments are amazing. Dun, dun, dun. Run, 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 nahe, run, run, nahe. This is so catchy. Run, nahe. Very easy to learn. Very easy to stay in your head. The ending is amazing. It has its bridge. It's got. It has its good parts. Very good parts. His voice is the best part because his voice is huge. They didn't play this, his song at the after party. They played Marie Rhyme three times, and the people went crazy at the after party. Not pre-party. After party, I meant. La la he, run la la he, run la la he. He'll come with a completely different staging on Malmo because this is just backdrop what we see. He didn't have any props. He didn't have anything on stage. He was, I think, the only one that didn't have anything from what I remember. So this could just go well for him in Malmo. But I had him out of my sight that he could also win. When I saw it yesterday and finished, I was thinking that he could also win. So, 
Isaac did that. Isaac is gonna win, is gonna go to Eurovision, is gonna represent Germany, Alemania, and some people are happy, some people are very sad, some people are heartbroken. Um, what do I wanna say? I enjoyed a lot Marie Rhyme. I loved how Marie Rhyme was very visible, very dear. Her vocals were not bad at all. Marie Rhyme was like, she did good. And all of them took like jury points. Many took 12 points except Florian. He took from all of the juries one point, but it's okay. Um, this was, it was, it's a weird feeling because living here, because I want Germany to do well, because I want, I don't want Germany to be last place. So I'm, I'm just still trying to process how would Isaac do? And it could go both ways for me. It could, because the song is not bad. The song is not bad at all. And people watching Eurovision for the first time on the final, listening to the songs, they could say like, oh, this stays in my head. This is like, I would vote for this because this sounds very mainstream, very radio friendly. But also it could go that people forget about it. I don't know. I just know that Rick could be the one also going very, very staying in people's minds and being the one that who is voted. Oh, I don't know. It's hard. It's very hard to say and to explain which I like. Like which, how it will do. You can tell me on the comments or if, if, what do you think of the whole Deutsche Finale? And how do you think that this could go for Isaac? I mean, I know many people's opinions already because I have uh, taken many Instagram messages on Instagram of people that follow my channel and that people that knew that I was at the Deutsche Finale and they told me their opinions. There were many, many different. So I would like to see it also under the video's official comment. Because once you tap it, you cannot undo it.